The harder you try, the more likely you will fail. What does that mean? Let me give you some examples. So let's say there is a cat, and you want to pet the cat, and then you approach the cat, the cat runs away, and then you try to go after the cat, the cat runs away. The cat is faster than you. The harder you try to catch the cat, the harder it runs away from you, and you never catch him until you finally give up. And you sit、uh, on your chair, and the cat comes to you naturally, right? That's one example of you know trying too hard, never get what you want. Another example would be trying to fall asleep. So there are insomniacs, people that cannot sleep, and every night they go to bed and they lie down, their eyes are wide open. They say, "Sleep, sleep, sleep! I need to sleep! I need to sleep right now!" But they just cannot fall asleep. The harder they try to fall asleep, the more unlikely that they can fall asleep. And when they give up trying falling asleep, then they actually fall asleep. That's another example. So why is that? So imagine this: you are learning how to drive a car, and driving a car is kind of complicated. When you begin to learn how to drive a car, it probably was very very frustrating. But once you learn how to drive the car, you never think about it. You don't think about it. You just get in the car and you drive. It just comes. To you naturally, it's called the state of flow. You no longer need to think about it; you just do. So, how do you get into this state of flow? Well, first, first of all, you have to be good at what you do. Once you're good at something, you can get into a state of flow. So, a state of flow is when you stop wanting. You're not wanting anything. You're eliminating the want from your head. You just focus on the do. You just do it. When you're in the do mode, you're not wanting it. You just focus on what you have to do the next step. You see, our conscious mind is a curse because we need our mind, our conscious mind, to learn things. We need our conscious mind to learn how to drive a car. Without our human conscious mind, the, our smart brain, we cannot learn how to drive a car. We cannot learn skills. But our conscious mind. Also get in the way of our success because it always get in the way getting things done because it always wants something you want want more it always trying to find another way to do things which actually doesn't work if you just follow your natural instinct it would work for you but if you try to outsmart what you have to do then you probably will fail when our conscious mind try to overanalyze the problem it creates extra stress it creates extra pressure. On ourselves, and then when we are under pressure, under stress, we are unlikely to perform at our best, and we fail. So what I'm saying is that use your conscious mind to learn skills. Don't let your conscious mind get in the way of your success. Just follow the teaching, follow the steps, and you will succeed. No matter what you're doing, if you want success, you gotta learn how to get into the state of flow. This is so important. When we try to use our conscious mind to control things. We fail to achieve the result that we want. When we let our subconscious mind do things, you know, just let it happen naturally. Get into the state of flow, then things happen. That's how you get things done. State of flow is how you get results.